Hello everyone. Today I will be talking about mag, so if you want a warframe that can debuff your enemies, give you a lot of shields and over shields, crowd control huge areas and nullify chunks of enemies and create cover for the team then you're at the right place. Her passive is a 8 meter wide personal vacuum on bullet jump, lasting 0.6 seconds while you're in middle of bullet jumping, though useful at times it's not really a replacement for your vacuum or fetch. The main use of this ability is when your sentinel dies, you still have something to collect loot with. Get over here! Pull is a cheap CC ability that affect enemies in a 120 degree angle in front and a 6 meter circle around mag and bypasses all obstacles, the velocity that enemies are pulled towards you is affected by power strength. This ability doesn't interrupt any other action such as reload, so you can cast it at all time, if you manage to kill an enemy with this power they will have increased drop chances but considering that even with 400% power strength you still won't be able to kill level 20 enemies in one cast. I say just ignore that such a thing exists. Serious? You're better off thinking that this ability doesn't have an augment. Magnetize. She puts a bubble on the target with a 4 meter radius. Target will take twice the damage from all sources, but keep in mind that only the main target not all the enemies in bubble. Any projectile that enters this bubble is trapped and reflected on enemies inside the bubble. After the duration of the ability runs out if the main target has died it will explode and deal blast damage to all the targets in its range but only in line of sight. The damage that the blast will do is 25% of all damage done inside the bubble. Except the damage done to shields, gas procs and critical multipliers. This ability works very well with projectile based weapons if you put punch through on them, because the projectile will be able to hit multiple targets or same target multiple times, or alternatively you could use AOE weapons for a similar effect. If you use her third ability to create these shards you will get more damage over time inside the bubble. Magnetize has an augment called Magnetized Discharge that lets you recast the ability to detonate it, and has 50% chance to disarm enemies hit. While not being entirely against this augment I think it's not worth the mod slot, due to being line of sight, and instead of this. You could do this. Polarize. Mag emits a wave 8 meter in radius that moves outward at 5.9 meters per second, replenishing ally shields while reducing enemy shield and armor. Keep in mind that this ability does nothing to flesh so if enemy health bar is red this ability will do nothing to them, if you want to calculate the maximum range of this ability you can use this formula which for base stats will be 37.5 meters. This ability has an augment called counter pulse, which causes enemy weapons and robotics to be disabled for 4 seconds, considering the range polarize can have, well let's say it's extremely effective. Crush. 
Mag lifts all enemies within 18 meter radius and deals 3 ticks worth a total of 1500 magnetic damage. And each tick of damage will give you and all allies in range 25 shields or over shields per enemy hit. So if you have 8 enemies that will be 600 shields for one cast. I usually use this ability for two reasons one is to get my over shields up and other is as a panic button, but make sure that you can't be flanked from a longer range when you use it. This ability has an augment called Fracturing Crush, which reduces enemy armor by 50% and immobilizes enemies, however they still can, and will, shoot you so its main use is for its armor reduction, and even that can't be more than 80% per cast and if you cast it a second time it will just reduce 80% of remaining enemy armor so you can't completely strip enemy armor at all. It has the same problem as Magnetized Discharge as it's nice to have but not exactly worth a mud slot. This is my build for her, as you might know her main weakness is her survivability, so you will have to spend quite the mod slot for that, what I like to use is Adaptation with Prime Vigor, and then Hunter Adrenaline with Prime Flow and Quick Thinking, if you don't have Prime Vigor you can use Vitality instead though my intent is survivability, this also solves the energy problem if you fit the mod Life Strike into your melee weapon. With a build such as this you can handle up to level 120s but that will take quite the skill to pull off, so I suggest you stick with this up to level 80s. You might be asking so what kind of mission would I take her to? I mostly use her for lich hunting as her bubbles damage increase is very significant there and the bullet attraction helps while the lich zaps all over the place, but aside from that I would say any time that you have a team with DPS and support such as a Mesa and an Oberon already, taking her would be a good idea as she is a caster and will help you in CC, survivability and some damage increase. Using your first ability you can make all the enemies in the front no threat for few seconds, using your polarize to debuff them and using your second to nullify a bunch of enemies and clump them all together for easier killing, as well as your fourth to give your whole team over shields. Oh by the way I forgot to mention you can also do this. Overall I would give her these ratings. 